Dykes on Disc welcomes you to another of their great short stories. This one is named The Women of Whisper Place. Welcome to Chapter 1, The Gathering. A colony of Reese's Macaques was established in Silver Springs, Florida around the spring of 1938. The monkeys were released by a tour boat operator, Colonel Tui, to enhance his jungle cruise ride. The monkeys continue to thrive along the Silver River to this day. In addition, various colonies of Reese's and other monkey species are thought to have gained freedom after zoo and wildlife park facilities were destroyed by hurricanes, most notably Hurricane Andrew. Now, Hurricane Dennis and the big wave had done their part, and once again the monkeys were forced to move. As of September 12, 2013, more than 1,000 of these primates lived in the state. Most of the monkeys tested positive for herpes B virus, and wildlife officials consider the animals a public health hazard. It's estimated that 48.5% of Reese's macaques in northern India live in villages, towns, cities, temples, and railway stations, where they are in close and frequent contact with people at all times. They are exceptionally adapted to coexisting with humans and thrive near human settlements in both urban and agricultural areas. In fact, up to 93% of their diet can be from humans, either from direct handouts or from agricultural sources. These little prim primates are omnivores. They feed on a wide array of plant and invertebrate products. Potential predators of Reese's macaques include raptors, dogs, weasels, leopards, tigers, sharks, crocodiles, and snakes. The only primate with a broader geographic distribution than Reese's macaques are humans. Which is why it came as no surprise when Janet swore she saw a monkey in the trees. She was sitting in the backyard with Reggie and a few of their friends from out of town. There was Teddy Franco, an ex-nightclub owner and entrepreneur, and Angela. Janet had attended a few of her cannabis cooking classes at her lovely home in the Deltona Woods. Angela had been explaining that her partner, Joy, would, was volunteering with Habitat for Humanity and hoped to join them later. Look! shouted Janet. This startled everyone. What? asked Reggie. Yeah, what is it? questioned Teddy. Everyone looked in the direction that Janet was pointing, up, up, up into the trees. I could swear I saw a monkey, she said. How much of that medication did you have this morning? asked Reggie. You know you're supposed to wait two hours before you eat any more, warned Angela. The only medication I've had this morning is a few puffs from my vape pen, Janet explained. She kept scanning the treetops as the group went back to their morning rituals. I know what I saw, she insisted. At least, I think I did. To be continued. Dykes on Disc will have another episode soon, so keep listening and thanks for reading aloud. <laughs>